Well, hello and welcome to Blue Garden Cottage. It's in the evening now. Quite late, it's past eight o'clock. And that afternoon sun as it comes over on this side of the house is just lovely. Excuse the background noise, we have some neighbors chatting. I did um, just wanted to show you a bit of what's going on in the front garden because I haven't shown you for a while there's a lot of stuff flowering and going to seed things have gone over already the roses are still blooming obviously as you've just seen and the clematis the peas are rubbish absolutely rubbish still getting strawberries that one buttons can have carnations got wet in the rain yesterday and I'm gonna have to take those heads off so that we can get some nicer flowers off them oh that strawberry's delicious oh do you know it's so cold I'm shivering until autumn is really coming in and yet we have a second flush of flowers coming up that's always so lovely look at the size of this hydrangea flower it is absolutely giant it is huge expect there's a couple of nope yes a couple of flowers all in one that is giant and this one is a very big hydrangea Oh my goodness anyway don't have much time look how that lilac has grown the joster berry has been stripped by the gooseberry sawfly this one had survived longer than any of the other plants this year it's fruited the kids coming past have ripped fruit off and thrown them on the pavement because obviously it wasn't as tasty as they thought it would be my bergamot look at that Mm, lovely stuff there's all sorts going on here the buddleia needs trimming I still haven't done that the yarrow is done the brogiaea has gone over already I'll put a photograph of that in it's one I forgot I even had the ferns in the corner there and the hostas are actually surviving the wisteria look at that I am so happy with that growing I've had to trim it a number of times and I've used the trimmings to start making another wreath oh I can smell that buddleia the fennel is coming into flower now and I absolutely love nibbling on fresh fennel flowers I love nibbling on them and the chicory oh that's closed now the flowers are closing up for the night and the seeds are set in and the flowers are just so beautiful and so blue as well so Nikki is looking sad ladies bed straw I'm gonna have to save some of these seeds in case it doesn't come back next year if you know if any of the seeds don't germinate passion flowers still flowering all sorts still going on the um oh look that has really grown suddenly I'll have to tie that in on that climbing rose oh my oh everything is just taken over here the sweet peas finally are growing there's some salad burnet some fever few that I transplanted in here the lemon balm is still going I haven't even trimmed that the comfrey has to be cut back it's shading out that lemon balm things are growing but there's a little bit of neglect going on so I'm gonna to have to do that remember in the last video I told you that um, the Whittler had done himself an injury he hit his toe with a hammer I'll put the photographs in right here and then a week later he, we noticed that there's some serious infection under the toenail and it is really really bad we had so much drama trying to get a doctor's appointment I'm not going to go into the details needless to say I'm avoiding ever going to the doctors but I finally I got him to accident and emergency 
because the accident is still within the 14 days um, they actually did an x-ray and discovered that he had actually broken two toes the big toe and the one next to it and it hasn't started to heal at all so we're going back to orthopedics next week and they'll see what they can do with these toes and what's going to happen with them but um, they put him on some very strong antibiotics because it's a very nasty infection and probably what's preventing the healing but that's the state he's in as for now though I'm going to add in the video I made on was it Friday or Thursday and I meant to post yesterday but of course with going to A&E and doing quite a bit of running around and not getting much done with all the rain I didn't do anything in the garden so I didn't post the video either I'm doing it now so I hope that you enjoy the rest of it and I'll show you what I've done since then because today I worked in the garden as well but that will be in the next video either before the end of this week or by next week it's a little bit of a back and forward thing a little bit of a week behind but please bear with me well there we go another brilliant harvest of potatoes all of these potatoes there came from that section there and all of those potatoes in the bucket came from this tube I still have that tube there and one in the fruit cage to harvest as well these were um, we got quite a lot of potatoes obviously however I don't know if you can tell but there's a lot of the scarring all over them and that is called scab and that is scarring from slugs and that's because I had straw on top of the beds and perfect place for the slugs and this is traditionally at the bottom of the slope so it's a good place for the slugs to hide nice and moist and they were underneath the straw so no more straw in this garden on the beds but I will use it in layering the compost when I don't have shredded paper so yeah plenty of potatoes from the bed so it's a good harvest this year obviously I've got kale in that side some of the Nero kale and I will continue and put more I think I'll put the tomatoes in here actually in the pots on top of the beds just for now until we've built this raised bed up even higher because it's going to be higher this year going to be made at least another two foot on the side and another foot high on that side so a much deeper raised bed buttons why are you being a stupid dog you're hearing all the bees come on out there because there's a load of bees there on that marjoram come on out you come there are bees buzzing everywhere I'm going to go around and show you them there because there's not just bumblebees but others as well and I'm sure that they are bees and not hoverflies I'll go and show you now you can tell me in the comment section if you know better because I am guessing because to me they look like bees there's the bumblebees and there's one of the other little bees right there and I'm sure that that's a bee also and oops fallen come on out so we can see you there you go you see to me that looks like a bee and not a hoverfly but some bees look like hoverflies but to me it's a bee and that's a bumblebee obviously but the marjoram in flower oh do you remember hang on let me show you sorry got to climb under the washing do you remember my grape propagation there's a new plant at the bottom and that one has grown and let me just oops tip it up see if it's yep there's roots coming out the bottom so this propagation method has worked for me which is practically no work <laughs> I didn't have to cut a piece off and stick it in the ground I just stuck it through the bottom of the pot filled it with soil and watered it and left it just made sure it didn't dry out so that's kind of air layering I think that is 
so I have a new grape plant over there just in case anything ever happens to this one and I'd hate to lose this one because it's a good four years old now and just starting to produce a good amount of fruit for its first amount of fruit so I'd hate for anything to happen to it because it's taken a long while to get to that stage can you see that little hoverfly let me see if I can get around this side oh don't go away just there can you see it oh it's camera shy it's going to the petunia now beautiful tiny little hoverfly look at that isn't that beautiful a good guy so yeah flowers feed the hoverflies which give us their larvae which eat all the little pests that we don't want well they do too but it's a good job it's lovely to see them so anyway my scabby potatoes it's not a bad thing they're not you don't throw them away the back of a butter knife will scrape off the scabs the um, the scarring just like that see that it just comes off so if you when you wash it scrub it and then just take a butter knife and scrape along it you don't have a perfect skin but to be honest i mean i don't peel my potatoes so scrubbing it and then scraping it with a butter knife is fine that's a particularly bad one but it's fine they either get boiled baked or chipped up for um, wedges in the oven and that's fine I don't peel them because it's whole food I'm trying to do whole food so even the scab is not going to deter me I just scrape it off and that's just slug damage it's not too bad but there you go good potato harvester guess what we're having for supper tonight there we are I can't wait for the kale to start producing enough for me to harvest I do have to keep an eye because the cabbage white have been everywhere and they've been mating and now laying eggs so i have to keep checking every day and as soon as i can i'm gonna get i'll give it one last check on every single leaf and then um, i'm going to cover the bed i'm going to put some mesh over it because i have another roll of mesh so that's going to go over tomorrow morning actually because there's butterflies everywhere love the butterflies just don't want them eating my kale and cabbage that tree cabbage is doing phenomenally and I have been using it in soups and stews and things like that and even in my vegetable kind of chilies and so very useful and it only takes up one spot and just keeps coming back year after year Oh, my marshmallow is looking terrible at the back there. It doesn't like being in the pot. It likes to be in the ground for its roots to get nice and big, which is what I want because I want it for um, pain killing tincture. A fever few as well. I'm going to give that a good trim in the morning, give it a haircut and dry what there is to keep for herbs. Oh, look at these blackberries. Can't help it. Mm. Hi. Oh, that reminds me. I've been weighing the fruits and things that have been harvested but I forgot to weigh the potatoes so we've given away a bucket of potatoes to a neighbour another one to my aunt's neighbour who we got those planters from and I've given my daughter some potatoes so I don't know how, mi how much that weighed but I will weigh these I really need to get a much better scale for weighing all these but I will weigh them in kilogram batteries because that's all my scale can handle really well it can take up to two but the spring is so old um so i'm going to weigh them and keep a re record of how much things like that we've harvested i haven't weighed things like the spinach or the, the chard and the kale because i pick a couple of leaves at a time to use in the meal as i'm cooking so i've never really weighed how much i've picked of those but of these kind of things and beetroot and carrots things like that i will weigh them so that i get a record and the onions the shallots are still going in there and they've really grown so i'm hoping that they'll be ripe before the end of the season there's chard in there there's some russian kale the carrots are growing finally i don't know if you can see in the sunlight there are some turnips there but the slugs 
keep getting at them so I have to clear the edges as fantastic as these edges are for all the hovering insects the beneficial insects oh see as I'm talking there's a hoverfly right there I'm gonna have to clear the edge around the bed because I do not want the slugs there's another hover oh it's a wasp underneath the net I'm gonna have to let you out but yeah this slug control I'm gonna have to clear the the edges but that's not going to be a problem because by the end of the year these will all be much higher raised beds and the edges will be cleared anyway and I will put all of these things in with the perennial beds so that we can still have the hovering insects nearby for them to do their job but they just won't be by the annual beds so it should save us a lot more stress and effort of pest control anyway the tomatoes are doing great they are flowering starting to get fruit and there's a lot left to go in the ground that mush I showed you in the last video has just taken over but there you go that's today's work I've also been painting wood I'll show you more about that another day that's the pallets we found that we've taken apart that also resulted in a very nasty injury for the Whitler my hubby I'll show you those pictures as well but for now that will have to do and I will update you on the other little goings on another time it's been lovely to chat to you do chat back with me in the comment section and I shall speak to you again soon take care bye bye